Hey everyone, it's Allison. Welcome to my YouTube channel and welcome to a new year of videos. I am going to start off 2024 with the Spellbinders Monthly Clubs. For this video, I am going to be sharing the cards that I made with the small die of the month and the large die of the month. Um, but stick with me till the end of the video. I will share a couple other cards that I made with some of the other kits. So we're gonna start off with the large die of the month, which is called Honey Bee Jar for January. And you'll see the two big dies that create the jar. And then there's like a little fabric topper right there that you can put a bow on. And there's a little tag and a little sentiment that you can die cut with the tag. And of course, there are almost always florals in monthly clubs from Spellbinders, so there they are. And then you can create this adorable little bee. So let's get started. All right, this die right here cuts three pieces, and this cuts like what is inside of the jar. So I have cut two pieces out of yellow and then the top part out of blue. Now for the yellow pieces, I am going to do just some basic ink blending here. And I just want this top part to be a little bit darker so that, uh, you know, it just stands out from the bottom part and gives that shadow effect for the top part of, in, in my case, the honey that's going to be in the jar. Um, you could put whatever you want in your jar, though. You can make a jar of jelly, jam, whatever. Um, and the reason I cut that top piece out of blue is because I'm going to put everything on a blue card base. So I was kind of trying to make it look like this was see-through, so you would see the blue through the jar. Um, in retrospect, I probably should have added a little bit of shading to that blue piece, but that's okay. So I'm now gluing it to the base of the jar. So remember there were two dies that cut the jar pieces and I cut that main base out of white and I cut the little, now you'll see I'm cutting this top part off. You don't have to have this little fabric topper on your jar. Um, you can see there's there's some fun detail for the top of the jar right here but I am cutting it off because I don't want any of it to show um, you know, at the edges of this little fabric topper. And I thought it would be cute to cut this out of red gingham cardstock. So here I'm just gonna glue it to the top here. Now, I, well, I don't need to state the obvious. I have not made a lot of videos lately. I kind of took a big break in December. Um, and so if you've watched any of my monthly club kit videos before, you know I try to do things that are different than the expected. But I, like I said, I've taken a big break and I am going to ease my way back into card making. I am making the jar of honey. I'm not doing anything crazy with it. Um, and by the way, I use this sentiment from this Concord and Ninth uh, stamp set to stamp a sentiment on my little tag. Um, and now I'm just gluing my flowers together. Um, so anyway, I, you know, I'm not doing anything crazy with this set. I'm just kind of, I guess, doing what's expected. Now, one thing I do change is the bee, and you're probably going to laugh, but so here's what the bee looks like with all the little pieces attached. Um, but look, I love bees. I know they're important. But at the time I was making this card, the legs, there were too many legs. Like I like cute bees. So I look at me, I'm, I'm cutting off the legs of this poor bee. Uh, so now I'm going to attach the pieces as they would have been attached, but without the legs. Um, I'm just going to pretend that my bee has not come in for a landing yet. And, you know, maybe his legs you don't see his legs until he lands on something. So I don't know. In the end, it kind of looks like a flying caterpillar, but 
that's okay. <laughs> so there's my little legless bee. And so one thing I am going to do again, so I changed the bee up and now I am cutting some of the leaf pieces apart. Uh, I like to do my own thing with florals in these sets. So sometimes that means cutting things apart and attaching them in a different way to each other. So that's kind of what I'm doing here. And I, I was playing around with the positioning of all these flowers. And I ultimately cut my card base down. So here you saw I, I created a blue card base. Um, and I'm attaching my jar with some foam tape. So you'll see I cut the base down. Um, it's, I think the base is now five by five and a half inches. So it's not quite a square base. And I decided to put all my flowers on the right side. And here I'm just gluing the tag on. It's really easy assembly. Um, that's why I'm not really talking you through it. It's, it's just basic assembly. Now you'll see I have a little, a few little foam squares on the back of the bees wings because those are hanging off the edge of the jar. And I also have uh, some foam squares on the back of this flower where it is also hanging off the jar. And I'm just tucking in the leaves. I'm working my my way up, so I'm gluing down the elements that go at the very bottom before gluing the flowers on top and again using some foam squares. And now I'm just adding in a, a little bit more foliage to fill in this area. So this jar is fun to make a shaped card. You don't need to put it on a card base like I did. And by the way, I just put the center of the flower on there. That's the die that you use to do that. And after the fact I'm coming in, I decided I wanted some shading on my, my leaves. So I'm just tucking a white piece of paper behind the leaves so that I don't get green ink on my honey or anywhere else that, it, that I don't want it to go. Um, and I have my little Shader 2 Plus brush from Waffle Flower, which is great um, for adding little detail and, you know, you don't need to worry about getting it everywhere. So if you forget to add shading, this is what I do. All right, so now I'm just adding some dew drops with some clear drops to my honey jar. I like doing that when there's liquids involved or even like sometimes flowers to add like you know dew drops and here I am with a white gel pen adding a few highlights um, and on that light blue area at the top I'm trying to you know make it obvious that there's a jar just to add some definition to the side because I, I wasn't able to add shading so here sometimes I do this I make a mistake with my white gel pen I didn't like what I did to the bee so now I'm covering it up and I added a little white eyeball to them too. So I'm coming in with another head to add on top because again, I wanted to cover up that white gel pen highlight. And it actually worked out because I think the head looks better when it's um, raised a little bit. So there's the card. All right, let's look at the small die of the month called Sitting Pretty. Now, there are several floral dies in this set, um, but my favorite part are these little birds at the bottom. And you'll see uh, I'm putting the pieces that I have die cut next to the dies themselves. And those are the only ones that I'm going to use for this card. This is going to be a very clean and simple card. And I've taken a panel of white cardstock and cut a heart from it using the Essential Hearts die set. This is a set of nesting heart dies and you'll see I put foam tape on the back of this panel but before I attach that panel to my blue card base I want to stamp a sentiment right onto the blue card base so I'm just arranging my elements um, so I know where to stamp so again this is gonna be a super clean and simple card I really wanted to highlight those little birds 
And so I've temporarily taped everything into position so that I can just put it onto my card base and figure out where to stamp. And the stamp comes from the Love You Greetings set from Simon Says Stamp. And I'm going to choose the I Adore You sentiment. And I'm just going to line it up right there on the card base. And I can remove everything else and stamp it. And I'm obviously using my Misty and I have my Waffle Flower Grip Mat in there. Uh, and I'm going to add a little bit of shading to this top piece of the flower. This, this goes in the center of the flower and I really want it to stand out. So I'm just adding some simple shading. And now I'm doing the same thing to this stem and leaves. And this is my mini water media mat from Waffle Flower that I'm using. And I'm using, I think this is the Shader 2 Plus brush again. And really just simple shading. So now we can assemble the birds and there's really just two, two parts to the bird as well as the beak. So here, here's the little beak and just really cute. I love these little birds. I think they're so sweet. All right, so now we can start assembling and I'm just gonna finally attach my panel to my card base. And for this bottom part of the flower or the back part of the flower, I am putting some foam squares on the back to where it's going to be hanging over that heart opening. And again, I'm going to take my tape out and temporarily tape this in place so that I know where to glue my stem. And so I'm, again, just going to line everything up. And so there's this little circle at the end of the stem and the flower is supposed to cover that little circle, but I'm just going to trim it a little bit so that it's not such a fat circle um, because I just, I really just don't want any of it showing. And so now I'm going to glue it down right underneath that top piece. And now I can glue this back piece down. And before I um, glue the top part of the flower down, I need to put my birds in. And you can see I've put a little foam dot on the top part of the bird um, because again, it's the bottom part will be glued to the flower and the top part will be hanging off that uh, raised edge so I need that foam dot to support their head and now I can go in and glue that top part of the flower and for this very top piece that I had added shading to before I'm popping that up on foam squares and that's the card that was a really easy and quick card to make and I think it's really sweet and again I really just wanted to feature those birds all right, so here is another card that I made. This is the Honey Dippin' Die Set. Now, this die is only available if you get the Deluxe Caboodle Club Set. I know that's a funny name. I'm gonna put information about this on my blog. You'll see link below to my blog. Uh, but basically you get every club kit in this Deluxe Caboodle Set. And you also get a bonus die. And this, uh, Honey Dippin' set is the bonus die for this month. And I think this card is so cute. I really just wanted to keep it simple. And my last card uses the Stencil of the Month Club. This is a new club for this year. Actually, they started in, in December. And for January, it's called Lively Floral. Now, I don't have footage of me making these last two cards, and I apologize for that. This stencil set has five stencils. It's a layering stencil set. And um, you'll see I added some shading. So let's say a stencil was really just for the leaves. I use a light color to stencil the leaves. And then I come in 
with an, a darker color and add shading. So you'll see that shading in both the petals and the leaves. And this is a light blue card base. So I did use Distress Oxides for my, my stenciling. And then I just turned it into a simple flat shaker card, which I think is always fun. Uh, again, there will be details on my blog for these last two cards. And I really just want to thank you for joining me today. Uh, I really hope to get back into making more regular videos, uh, making more cards. I, you know, I really just took a big break. Um, so I'm easing my way back in. Thanks again for being here today. And I will see you next time. Bye bye.